short tutorial on how to make a uh, laser engraved wood pendant with using Illustrator. So first thing, you obviously need some wood slices from a branch of a tree. And I happened to find a piece of magnolia and just sliced it up. I'll show you a few pictures of it. So I got lots of slices. They look like this. Okay, there's my slices. Nice big slices. And then I sanded them up and then I made some designs and engraved them on there. And once I've done the designs, I oiled them with some nice organ oil. And then they're ready to sell or give away. So how do you do it? It's easy. All you have to do is find the design that you want to put on there and turn it into a raster. Okay, so you need to find your design, bring it into Illustrator and turn it into a raster. So let's find our design. So go File, Place and go searching for the design that I want to use and let's use the Japanese symbol for love. That one. Place it. It's gigantic. So zoom out, scale it down. So I've made an artboard that is 45 millimeters by 45 millimeters. So I know what size my engraving is going to be about that big. And then it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it, but I'm going to make sure it's perfect. So I'm going to firstly trace it. And now it's a vector. Okay. And next I'm going to rasterize it. And it was already a raster, but just to make sure it's a raster, we'll go object, rasterize, give it a transparent background and okay. And now it's a raster and it's a little bit of a finer um, resolution than it was before. So there's my raster. It's ready to engrave. All I have to do now is save it as an Illustrator file. File, save as, make sure it's an Illustrator file. I'll save over the top and it's ready to engrave. So if you've got a laser cutter and you wanna actually engrave, not cut out, then what you need to do is design your engraving and make sure it's a raster before you save the Illustrator file, okay? So that's it, super easy.